Being out here in the Outer Banks, I can't help but think of all the years when I was little, me and my family came here every year, and thinking about the past makes me think about the Philadelphia Eagles, specifically the Kelly Green. It is time to bring back the Kelly Green. 18th pick in the NFL draft. The d hey, make us lunch. We're hungry. Dallas still stinks. You're right, the way King Ding back here. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. I hope you guys are doing well. So we are having our first full day in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Um, we're here for the whole week. Yesterday, we got here and it was a hell of a travel. We took the red eye, which I freaked out on the plane during takeoff. Uh, so much so the stewardess had to come and make sure I was okay because I, I have I have anxiety about flying. I don't like to fly, especially takeoffs. Uh, then we got landed in Richmond and we drove up here yesterday. That was like three and a half, four hours. So this is the first full day Outer Banks, I love it. I mean, I've been coming here my whole life. Uh, every year, we used to come at the end of August. It would be like my parents, my family, aunts, uncles, grandparents. Everybody would come. So it's something that we used to do. We haven't been able to do uh, in a while. So this is something that we had planned a while. And it's good to come from the West Coast back home to the East Coast and uh, be able to hang out for a week. So I'm definitely enjoying it. Getting ready to go to the beach very, very soon. Uh, I'm going to go show everybody that there are whales around here. I'm sure once I get in the water, there are going to be reports as a giant whale swimming around the water. But that's okay, because then I'm going to get out of the water and they're going to say, oh look, whales do walk. Why? Because I need to go on a diet. I need to go on a diet. I'm fatter than food. That's the truth. But once I'm done, once I'm done this vacation, I'm going on a diet. I need you people to help me with it. Help me with it. But in all seriousness, no, though, uh, you know, I'm having a good time. It's fun. Um, I don't know if I'll be making as many videos this week as normal just because I'm away and stuff like that. So I hope you guys please understand. And if you're new to the channel, please like, please subscribe. I appreciate it so much. We are in a very quiet time right now for football. Um, obviously, the Sixers are going on. I wish I could scream those games, but I can't do it here. Hopefully next round. Um, but, yeah, as far as the Eagles go, it's, it's very quiet. You know, we're seeing little stories here there. Richard Rodgers signed. We still are getting reports about Zach Ertz, where he's going to go, if, if he's going to go to Buffalo, our team's going to take him. There's a lot of birds out here, my gosh. But um, they're probably looking at me saying, if that, if that thing dies, we got a lot of food to eat. You know what I mean? Maybe they're waiting for me to die or something. I don't know. But anyways, um, a lot of little things going on, you know. And, and there's two things I really kind of wanted to talk about today. Uh, the first thing uh, is the offensive line of the Philadelphia Eagles. I did a video on this. I didn't release it because it just it just ran. It just got too too many days went by without me posting it, so there was it was kind of outdated. But I did really want to talk about uh, PFF ranking the Eagles' offensive line number 17. Do you hear that bird? What is it doing? But um, the PFF ranked the Eagles' offensive line 17. Now I, I take issue with this. Okay, and, and here's why. Because one of the things they talked about was injuries, right? The Eagles offensive line can't stay healthy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't like going on the assumption that somebody's automatically going to get hurt. That people are automatically going to get hurt. And it happens every year, people get hurt. But I don't think you can just assume that's going to happen every year because it's not. And if the Eagles offensive line is healthy, if they're healthy, if you give me Lane Johnson, this bird won't shut up. If you give me Lane Johnson, Brandon Brooks, Jason Kelsey, if you give me those guys healthy, I'm telling you right now, they have a top five offensive line in the National Football League. Just with those three guys, I think they do. Then you look at a guy like Jordan Mulata. If he continues to develop as a left tackle, um, they're good. They're good. And Sayamalo, look, I think Sayamalo isn't the greatest left guard in football, but I think he's decent, especially as a run blocker. I think he's good. So I don't, you know, I, I think that this thing, uh, this article was totally, I, I thought it was a slap in the face. I really do. I think the Eagles offensive line is better than people think. Here's the other thing. Nobody's talking about this, right? Nobody's talking about this. But if you look at the Eagles offensive line and you look at all the different scenarios in which they had to deal with uh, different lineups last year, I think it was like 14 different line combinations last year. Okay, if you look at it, 
and you look at all the guys that they have, guys like Herbig, guys like Driscoll, these guys played a lot. They got a lot of experience. So now you got your starters and you got these backups who have experience. And oh, by the way, Landon Dickerson, if he plays, he's going to be an absolute stud. T to me, it, it doesn't even, it doesn't, it, it's not about him, uh, you know, whether he has a talent. He's going to be good if he plays. Now, he's had a lot of injuries. I understand the concerns there. But look, I think, I think Landon Dickerson is going to be stud. Now, I'm going to say this. Um, I am not moving him to guard. I don't want to move him to guard. I want him to learn how to play center. He's coming back from a torn ACL this year, right? Uh, Jason Kelsey is playing another year. What? I mean, I don't know any better time than to have him sit behind Kelsey and learn to play center while getting healthy. While getting time to get healthy, so I wouldn't play him that much. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like keep him out, but I'd let him be the backup. I'd let him learn under Kelsey. Uh, but when you look at this offensive line, to rank them 17th is totally, absolutely insane. Okay, this is a top five line if they're healthy. Now Lane Johnson has to stay healthy, uh, Brandon, but they have to stay healthy, and, and that is true. But I don't see how people can assume that they're going to just get hurt because they have been hurt the last few years. It doesn't really work that way. Maybe they got all their injuries out of the way. Maybe there will be no more. If they're healthy, that's a good offensive line. And if that's a good offensive line, then the chances are you're going to have a pretty good running game. If you have a pretty good running game, I think you're going to have a decent passing game because I like Jalen Hurts. I think he's going to be good. I think uh, my man, Devontae Smith, is going to be offensive rookie of the year. That's my prediction. So he's going to be pretty good. So if the offensive line is good, the Eagles offense is going to be pretty good. If the Eagles offense is pretty good, I'm telling you right now, they're competing for this division. So once again, the Eagles will compete for this division. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is this is a, 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 a video I do every six months. Every six months, I do a video talking about the Eagles and their uniform. I talk about a needed update, a refresher to the Eagles uniform. Who is yelling out there? It's like everywhere I go, every time I make a video, everybody starts making noises. Birds, cats, people. It's like as soon as I start. I mean, seriously, like literally, like, like I came out here, I sat for 15 minutes waiting to see if there's going to be noise, and there was none. As soon as I start recording, boom. What the hell are you going to do? You know what I mean? But anyways, I do this video every twice a year and, and I'm going to continue doing it twice a year I do it in June and doing it in January usually uh, talking that the Eagles they need a refresher out of their uniforms they need to update it okay midnight greens like a teal color it was a 90s color uh, to me it is time to update it now I'm not saying you have to completely change it and completely overhaul but you got to update it you got to give me something else because it's been a long time and the other thing is the Eagles need to get Kelly Green back in, in the mix somehow whether they want to do an alternate jersey fine you don't want to change back to Kelly Green full-time but you want to give us an alternate uh, Kelly Green you want to do an alternate uh, Kelly Green jersey great great we've been waiting for four years I've been talking about this since 2016 and every year the Eagles make it sound like they're getting ready to do it but they never do it uh, Howie Roseman Jeffrey Lloyd it is time to get it done we need Kelly Green back here's the thing I'm on a Kelly Green kick right now okay I will not buy jerseys that aren't Kelly Green. I'm, I'm just, unless it's a black midnight, unless it's a black Eagles jersey, I'll buy, I'll buy the black jerseys, but I won't buy, it got dark for a second, but I won't buy, um, I won't buy the midnight green or the white ones right now. I'll buy the black ones or it's got to be Kelly Green. Uh, Kelly Green is all I'm buying. So I'm, I'm buying a bunch of throwback jerseys. I want to get a Devontae Smith and Kelly Green. I want to get a Jalen Hurts and Kelly Green. The Eagles are a Kelly Green team that is their colors that is their true colors and their true logo is the eagle with the bird with the talent they got to bring it back this is the greatest logo in sports so this is something i talk about every year twice a year and i'm going to continue to talk about it because the eagles keep saying they want an alternate jersey it's time to get it done especially with guys like Devontae smith and these youth guys coming in do it you know what i mean change it up or at least give us that as an alternate. Because at least if I get that as an alternate, then they'll sell merchandise in Kelly Green, which is, is my favorite Eagles uniform. Okay, I want the old Eagles uniform from like the late 80s, early 90s with Reggie, Clyde Simmons, Jerome Brown. I want them to bring that back in some sort of fashion. doesn't have to be totally everything, like every week. Just make an alternate jersey. I'm okay with that because I love it. You know what I mean? I love it. So... I hope they'll do that. 
Um, this is my plea with the Eagles to change the uniforms. Please update them. I really think they, personally, I really think they need a complete update. I think, uh, I think you need to get parts of Midnight Green, parts of Kelly Green. I think you need to come up with some incorporation and just revamp the whole jersey because it's time. It's been like, what, 20-something years? It's time. But if they're not going to do it, at least give us the alternate Kelly Green. This is my plea. I do this every year. I'm doing it now because I want it. I have to have it. You know what I mean? I like the Kelly Green. And I, I just don't understand why they don't bring it back. Even the Eagle with the town logo. It's such a cool logo. You know, I don't have it on. I don't have the hat because I'm going to the beach. But, you know, I, I hope that they bring it back. I think they should. Uh, I think I think it would sell. And they, look, if they had alternate Kelly Green jerseys and they were selling Devontae Smith, Jalen Hurts, they would sell so many jerseys. It wouldn't even be funny. It would be the best-selling jersey in the NFL. In the NFL. So they need to do it. Definitely. So that is my plea. Eagles need to get update their jersey. It is time. We need the alternate Kelly Green to come back. Um, you'll see me, like I said, you won't see me maybe every day. I don't know how many videos I'm going to put out this week. I'm probably going to jump in with a few live streams uh, just because I miss talking to you and I want to do some live streams. But uh, you'll see me here and there, and I'll, I'll try to pop in. Of course, if there's breaking news or anything like that, I will be back right away with that or as soon as I possibly can. Other than that, I'm going to kind of uh, chill out, uh, enjoy myself, recharge the battery, and get ready for the summer and football season because it's going to be crazy. We are going to be pumping out the content left and right. Okay, it's going to be crazy. But, um, yeah, you'll see me here and there, maybe a couple live streams. Uh, I'll try to do at least a video every other day while I'm here. I can try to do at least that. Um, if not, you know, a couple live streams or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the week. I hope everybody has a great week. Um, yeah, you'll probably see me either t tomorrow or Tuesday. One of the next two days I'll have a video out. So look for that. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And of course, don't be a dingbat. It's 5 o'clock in the morning here in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Uh, I crashed last night. I went to sleep because, dude, I was so tired. I was so tired. But I woke up early this morning. Everybody's asleep. Uh, we can't have that. You know, I got people who aren't sleeping in their beds and sleeping on the couches while I'm supposed to go watch TV. I can't have that. I can't have that. So we're going to go wake their asses up. They got work to do. What do they think they're on? Vacation? Get up, boys. Get up, boys. What do you think this is? Vacation? You think you're on vacation? Time to get up. Jay, I need to do the lawn. Chris, you got to scrub all the toilets. What do you think you guys are on? Vacation? This ain't vacation. Get up. You got work to do.